Hey, let's style Coco Pamel. Coco is a fashion designer, and I can't imagine any pony allowing her to design their outfit with wild and crazy hair. You know, we definitely don't want her clientele to equate ridiculous and unruly hair with her clothing choices. So let's prove that Coco really isn't cuckoo for Coco Puffs. Get it? She's got poofy puffy hair. Her name's Coco. Yeah, we'll need a brush, some hair elastics, a flower, and Coco. I'm gonna be honest, this pony has really bad hair and I had to heat treat it. Step one with Nightmare Moon couldn't even save it. Now, Coco is soaking wet, and I did leave conditioner in her hair because it's like really bad, not even kidding. Now, I'm just brushing through her mane and dividing it in half between the light blue and the dark blue. Now, I'm gonna brush through the front portion and pull it straight forward towards Coco's nose. Then, I'm securing this section in place with a clear elastic around Coco's head. I am pulling the back half through the middle of the elastic and letting the elastic slip down towards Coco's nose. Next, I'm spreading the front portion of hair out a bit and making sure it's as smooth as possible before I fold it up towards Coco's ears. And once I've created a nice set of bangs, I am locking them in place with a clear elastic around the ears, but I am pulling the back portion of Coco's mane through the center. At this point, I'm separating out the shorter bits of hair because they're already the correct length for Coco's bob. Then, I'm brushing through and smoothing out the longer section of hair, which I'm twisting towards Coco's face, and I'm gonna twist it down and fold it up towards her ears. And once it's in place, I'm locking it down with a clear elastic around the ears. Now, I'm just gonna brush the loose bits of hair back and around my finger. I'm spreading her mane out as much as possible and making sure that there are little bits of hair in front of Coco's ears. And once everything's in place, I'm gonna insert another clear elastic around Coco's ears to hold everything down because it wants to stand straight up. And at this point, the hard part is over. Now it's just time to brush through each section of hair and make Coco look as super fantastic as possible. And for the finishing touch, I'm just gonna take the flower and slip the stem underneath one of the clear elastics on the back of Coco's head. It's really supposed to be an orange flower, but you know, I just made do with what I had. And Coco is finally finished. Here she is soaking wet. And here is Coco after drying overnight. She definitely looks so much more professional. I know I for one would feel so much better about this new restyled Coco Pamel coordinating my wardrobe. Although that's probably not the best idea because I would prefer to just wear pajamas and athletic shorts all the time. But I feel certain that many others can benefit from Coco's services. Well, that is it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, please click subscribe. You can also follow me on social media for behind the scenes, pictures, previews, and other junk. You guys have a good one.